the PDD 18% hike you saw or the rise rally you saw yesterday tells you that how undervalued some of these consumer stocks in China are because of the China effect. Now, when you see these companies making their earnings abroad, which is what Tim Weiss and Xi Yin is, investors are thinking, how can I invest in China and not be exposed to the China risk? And that's where the, the positive case for PDD or for Xi Yin comes in, because you are essentially backing on US consumers, not necessarily Chinese consumers to, to play this part. So the first point was that the stocks were undervalued. We have seen that rally. The second is that if you are going to manufacture things at reasonable price, you are going to, going to get people pay for it, right? And they're going to buy. We've talked about the cost of living crisis. We talked about China going through its own transition, you know, where things are not looking very good. It's not quite like your real estate is still valued at where it used to be. So you're thinking about where should I spend money? So the case for these companies to be there and provide the product that people need, and that brings up their earnings. Is this, in some ways, the Alibaba-ification of Western markets, you know, a model that's worked very, very well across the Chinese markets for many years, that Western customers couldn't necessarily get access to unless they bought a whole heap of product? Is it similar to, to what Alibaba's done in its own market now that we're seeing from these other companies, from Xi'an to, to Temu? I, I think in a way it is because it is pushing the Western companies to respond. So if H&M and others don't respond, then they'll lose the market share to these manufacturers who have economies of scale. They are good at advertising. Look at the, the spillover effect is that advertising cost on Meta and on Google and Amazon is going up for the Western companies. So, so these Chinese companies will compete and do better.